theology of creation. The capturing of theology of creation. Today we are celebrating St. Francis of Assisi Day. Its day is the 4th of October. And if you know anything about St. Francis of Assisi, we know he was very wealthy growing up. And he took and sold everything that he had to become poor, right? Lived in poverty, right? But one of the things that he is famous for is how he treated animals, right? And it's really interesting, he used to love to go preach to the animals, right? I think that's probably how he practiced. By the way, Billy Graham did the same thing. You all know that? When Billy Graham was in Florida, he would go out and preach to the alligators. He didn't help it. You 
see, Bentley showed me what unconditional love was. Dogs, I believe, reflect the unconditional love that God has for us. I love that joke. It says, lock your wife and your dog in the garage for eight hours and then come back and see who's happy to see you. <laughs>
You know, it's biological. It'll break down. I said, please don't do that. I said, because deer will come to the road to eat the apple and get hit by a car. And you don't want to hit a deer, right? Right, Art? You don't. You just don't want to hit a deer. Right? We need to think about how well we take care of this environment. How well we take care of our trees. It is amazing to me that anybody would buy a house over there by Superior 2. you got to sign a deed that you understand that they polluted the ground on which the house that you're living in is sitting on. God help us. Right? God help us. Now I do know that there's things that happen that we probably didn't understand the ramifications. My father-in-law suffers uh, from, from effects of Agent Orange. And I don't think that the people that made Agent Orange thought that it was going to kill people. They knew it was going to kill trees and bushes and things, right? But I don't think they did that. At least I'm praying to hope they don't. I worry sometimes about this baby thing. And people are dying and they probably knew about it. Amen? You know, and I worry about it to make a buck. Sometimes people do things. Right? So we have to be our own advocate. Amen? But I do think that there is something to be said with recapturing a theology of creation. This earth was given to us, by the way, the King James Version, it says dominion over the earth, should have said stewardship. You can, you can translate that, that Hebrew into stewardship and not dominion. Dominion meant that, by the way, when King James Version came about. That if you had dominion over something, you had stewardship of it. God is calling us to recapture a theology of creation to look at grass and trees and dogs and cats and horses and goats. I still ain't figured out what good a porcupine is, but whatever. <laughs> and gators. All of those things are part of God's creation. May the Holy Spirit move in our hearts that we, as we start the revival here in Collegeville, we also start a theology of creation. That we, by our actions, take care of this earth. That we make a commitment not to pollute. Right? I know Rowan and I were talking about climate change the other day in, in, uh, in, in, in the kitchen. Right? It's scary for the people that's coming behind us. Amen? And the thing about it is, I don't want to argue with you or be a climate change denier, or say I don't care about jobs. I want to do it from a theology that I'm supposed to take care of this earth. Amen? I'm supposed to do those things. And if we do that, I think God will be pleased. And that God will bless us. Let's start that revival right here. Let us make a commitment to this earth and to all the good creatures that are in this earth that we can honor Christ with how we take care of his creation. See, it was a boom saying, I'm done, man. <laughs>